Hello, everyone. So I'm going to get right into the reading, whatever the cards want to say. This may or may not be for you. Uh, remember, I channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take it if it resonates. Wealthy man. Concern. Imprisonment. Toil and labor. Ooh. Okay. Someone, this is either someone you know that has bad financial karma, or this could be you, where you need to be careful with your finances. You could be this wealthy man if it's not just somebody that you know, because there's concern. And the concern is possible, like, imprisonment. Imprisonment isn't always, like, actual imprisonment. This could be spiritual imprisonment. This could be bad karma. It's just something that keeps you blocked, something that keeps you tied up. And then there's toil and labor. Tell me more about this. High honor, courthouse, thief, message of concern, Either someone's trying to steal from you and you're going to get a, you might be this wealthy man and someone's trying to steal money from you and you're going to get a warning about this. Could even be through court. They could be trying to find like a, if you're in like a court battle, they could be trying to find loopholes. Um, it's like they might be working with a lawyer for some of you and it's like they're trying to find a way to take money from you. Because there's high honor in courthouse. Hmm. For others, I'm seeing two storylines here, though, because for some, the wealthy man is the one that's the victim here. But for others, I feel like the wealthy man is actually the one that has this bad financial karma. And maybe he's stolen from people. This could be like a manager or, you know, a CEO, some someone in like a leadership position that kind of uses their money to exploit others. And maybe maybe they're almost it's like they're stealing from the company or they're doing something shady here. Message of concern, because I feel like you're going to get a message or someone's going to get a message here. Take it as it resonates. Someone's going to get a message here about this. Some, someone's going to get some kind of warning here. And I feel like the warning is actually coming from someone in the courthouse or someone that has a lot of honor and integrity. Someone like a, like a superior. Someone's, someone's going to get some kind of warning here. Tell me more about this. Courtship, despair. Child. Family room. This could be a family member that thought that they were going to be able to use um, a child or someone to get more money out of you. Like, I, I, they, like, I feel like they're, maybe they're going to lie or something. They're going to try to make... It's like they're, they're trying to... What are they doing here? like for some maybe they're trying it's like they're, they might be working with a lawyer or someone but they're going to try to hide their income or they're going to they're going to try to get more child support they're going to try to that's just for someone specific but i think for the majority of you it's a different storyline let me give me a minute here guys adjudication community unexpected income occupation i feel like things are going to go in your favor though because there's car there's good karma on your side give me just a minute guys Give me just a minute here. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me about tell me about who's trying to steal from who. What is what is this uh what is this thief trying to take? What's going on with this? Seven of Cups. Temperance. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Okay, this person, what I'm getting, okay, I see, I see where this is going. There's a few different storylines here. This person actually is kind of shady, but they, they feel like what they're doing is justified. 
so so again bear with me a few different storylines here for some this is some kind of court battle or maybe you're trying to win money in this case maybe um someone's going to court for like a like custody support or there's like maybe someone's suing or there's just some kind of financial legal battle here and this person just feels it's like this person is going to try to create this illusion that they don't have enough to offer they're gonna they're trying to hide their income is basically what I'm getting they're trying to make it seem it's like they, they might be um it's like they might have like separate accounts like separate bank accounts or something or they're, or they're making money under the table and they're gonna try to hide it I feel Hmm. Give me a minute here, guys, just to look at this energy for others. OK, so this could also be a warning for you, and it's not saying you're a bad person, but this could also be a warning to like if you're the one going to court to like make sure you cover your tracks because it's like they might someone might dig up dirt about you that you're not expecting. Because this, I could see this as the IRS too, and I, I completely understand not wanting to give the IRS your money. Like I get that, the IRS pisses me off, so I understand it. But this could be one of those situations where you're like filing your taxes, and you're, you're like, you're not, you're not wanting to report certain income. So just be careful with that if you're doing. Like I don't, I don't want to like tell anyone to like break the law. Okay, I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not. Full disclaimer, like for legal reasons, I cannot encourage that. I'm just going to say like, be careful. Whatever you decide to do, be be careful. Because um, someone might, whether it's the IRS or someone else, someone might have more dirt on you than you realize. Like they might have that information somewhere. You know what I mean? Basically, I get someone for whatever reason is trying to hide their income. And someone's, there's like a record of it. Or there's another bank account. Or there's something where it's going to be uncovered. And so you need to be kind of mindful with this for others I feel like because I feel like whoever this person is they feel entitled to this they don't feel like they're in the wrong for some I feel like this might be a manager or a CEO that works that's like not paying their employees properly or they're they're not giving out overtime it's like there's something that's kind of unfair here but they're trying to create this illusion that like they just don't have the money to give. They're trying to, but they see it as standing their ground. They see it as like, this is my money. Like you guys aren't entitled to this money. But I mean, if you're, if you're going to be a business owner, like you need to pay your employees fairly. You need to pay them, especially what they're agreed to pay, you know? So it might be one of those situations where, and this could even be a situation where you're getting like where you guys are making minimum wage, but you see new people coming in and they're making like way more than you do. And you can kind of tell like maybe this guy, like maybe this manager, male or female drives a Ferrari. And like you can tell that you guys are getting like a small, small percentage of what the whole company is making where you guys do deserve more, where it's like you might need to, this could even be like a union where it's like you guys need to kind of band together and like maybe ask for like you guys need raises you know, even if you guys did agree, like, let's say you guys all agreed to like minimum wage when you came in, but like you're seeing it, it's like maybe like your team is making um, making a lot of money for the company and you're seeing that like the manager or the CEO is like like you can tell by their appearance or by what they're driving. You can tell they're making a lot of money off you guys, you know, and you guys are like you're the heart of the you're, you're what's making the money. Like, I feel like maybe this is like a team where you guys are working together and you're, um, this could be like a marketing job or it's like something, it, cause it's not, I don't think it's like retail. I mean, it could be, but I'm seeing more of a, cause if it was like a movie theater or a, um, or just like, like a grocery store or something, it's like, it wouldn't really make sense for you to like be making more money for them. I almost feel like it's something where you like guys, you guys like team up and you, you talk, like you have like meetings or you, um, like you talk about how you can get sales up or you go out and you like maybe go to door to door, you call people. It's like you're bringing people into this company. Like you're making this money. You're making this company money. You know, you're making, you're like the heart of the organization. Like you're making them a lot of money. Like they would not be okay without you. So some of you need to kind of recognize like, or your team needs to recognize, because I feel like this is like three or four people at least that are like in, you guys are in communication somehow, whether you have meetings like through email online or whether it's like, you know, in person, whatever it might be. 
Um, I feel like you guys need to understand, like they need to understand this too, that, that, uh, you know, you don't really need them. They, the manager, the CEO, they need you. This is how they're making their money. The, the company falls apart without you guys, especially because I'm seeing one team in particular where you guys work harder than everybody else. And it's going to fall apart without like, like the company is screwed without you guys. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're getting sales up. So there's something here again, the few different storylines here, but, but basically the overall energy is that there's some kind of wealthy person that does not want to, they're being cheap. They're being stingy with their money. It's like they don't want to offer anything. They have this, it's almost like they have this like poverty mindset where they have this like, it's, it's like this person is rich too. I feel like this person is like a wealthy man. And this person's like, you know, you guys are doing all the work. Um, or again, this could be like a court case or something where it's, it's like you guys are taking care of a child or you're suing this person. And it's like this guy has like, this man or woman has millions of dollars and they're like, oh God, I couldn't afford to be sued for $50,000. It's like, they can afford it. Don't, don't let this person like gaslight you and manipulate you into thinking that they can't afford this. Whatever it is, because yeah, I just get like this stingy en energy from them. So like whatever it is, they're gonna try to make you feel like they can't afford it. Like they can't offer you this money and they actually can. So you need to be smart about this. It's like, it's, it's kind of an icky energy too because it's like one of those people that you know those people that like make like god like 15 20,000 a month or more and they're like they're like but 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 I have like my four houses I have to pay for and I have you know child support from from these other children and I have um you know I I'm supposed to go to vacation in Mexico next month I can't do without that it's like they don't know shit about poverty but this person is like you know what I mean like that spoiled brat kind of energy where it's like you know, like a millionaire who thinks that like 50,000 or 100,000 is just too big of a loss. Like they just can't do it. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't know. It, it's nothing to them. That money is just, it's nothing. Don't, don't let them convince you that they can't pay you more. Um, cause some of you know, some of you know what, whether this is court or whether this is someone you work for, whatever the situation might be, you know that this person can't afford it. And you know that, you know that you, deserve this whatever this is it's like you kind of know that you deserve this money that they do owe you something here you know especially if you're working for them they owe you more so don't be afraid to to get some kind of union or strike going if this is for you if you know this is for you you know full disclaimer i do not take any responsibility for what you guys do or do not do as a result of my readings your lives are your own you know i have to legally say that this is for entertainment purposes only <laughs> Yeah, it's like they're so it's like they don't they don't know what real poverty is but they're so afraid they see like they see any kind of financial loss as like poverty like like oh no like what if i have to sell one of my four houses <laughs> you know what i mean it's just it's so ridiculous it's like this person's so spoiled yeah they feel entitled to this they feel entitled to this this is almost like jeff bozo's kind of energy Ugh. Emperor, Queen of Wands, Justice. They're gonna try to some of you some yeah, some of you do need to organize. You do need to ask for a raise and you need to be smart. I would look into this again, make sure you know this is for you and look deeper into it yourself as well. Um because I don't want to convince anyone to make hasty decisions. But I feel like some of you might actually be taking this to heart. And you might be like, you know what? I am going to walk away because this has been a battle. I've been working my ass off for this company. And I know they can pay us more. Like, I know we're making the company money. You're like, you need justice here. But I feel like when you threaten to walk away, it's going to be like a power struggle. Queen of Wands, the Emperor. It's like you might, it, it might be like a like male versus female too here. Um, 
where it's like this person is going to try to stand their ground and be like, oh, like, you know, we really, we really do appreciate it's It's like one of those employees that like, oh, we, we appreciate you so much for your, your five years here of hard work. Let's have a pizza party. You know what I mean? There's no raises. It's like this person's so cheap. Um, and yeah, this it's, it's like, you need to be mindful because I feel like when you, if you do organize and you try to walk away, they're going to try to, they need you. It's going to be almost like a game of poker. It's going to be a, a it's going to be like a, like a, I'm hearing like a mind strategy. I don't know what, what my spirit guys are trying to say with that. It's going to be, um, it's like, who's bluffing. And this person is bluffing. They can't, they can't, they know they, I think this person knows too. They might be a little cocky, but I think they're logical enough to know that you got, you make them a lot of money that the, the, whoever this team is or this queen of wands, she makes this emperor a lot of money. And he's not really going to be okay without her. He's not really, or, or, you know, don't no no, no gender here. It could be two men or two women or, or whatever, but, but yeah, this emperor knows that they're not going to be okay without this queen of wands in their company. Um, I feel like they, what is this? Yeah, it's like they're going to try to bluff. They're going to try to be like, you know, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, you know, profits are better. We have been making more money, but it, you know, it takes a lot of money to pay rent and keep the lights on and pay the employees. No, you need to be smart. You need to be smart because you're going to see evidence. If this is your story, I think you're going to see evidence. This emperor, because he likes fancy, he or she likes fancy things. Like they're going to be getting like a new car, like a fancy new Ferrari or a, a Tesla or something like that. Or they're going to be getting a, like they're going to have like those $500 shoes. You know what I mean? Like there's going to, this person's going to be flashy. They're going to let the money get to their head. And so when they have this conversation with you, they can't gaslight you and treat, they're going to try, but they can't really trick you into thinking like, oh yeah, more money's coming in, but there's more expenses. It's like, no, the expenses are the same as they've always been. There might be some more expenses, but it's not going to be to the extent this person, someone's going to have to stand their ground. It's going to be a power struggle. Tell me more about this. Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's going to need to be a negotiation. There might be a warning not to be... It's, it's like you need to stand your ground in an assertive way, but not in a... Because this person is a little cocky. You know what I mean? So it's like not in a confrontational way, but just in an assertive way. Like, you could even say, God, well, I mean, you know this person better than I do, so you got to really use your intuition and use your discernment here, especially because it's going to be different for everybody. But I just get that if you go, if you're too passionate, too headstrong, it might lead to loss. Like, they might be like, okay, bye. But you, you have to, they don't want to lose you. They know how much money you're making for them. So you need to stand your ground and go forward, but be logical and balanced about it at the same time. Just don't let them manipulate you, though. And maybe even have a backup option, too. You know, if you have that kind of skill and you've made the company that much money, you can even start your own business. Maybe this is going to be a stepping stone to starting your own business. Maybe this is, like, meant to be where it's, like, you're meant to move on from this for some of you. But for others, like if you want to stay here, I just feel like you need to you need to stand your ground, but in a very logical, balanced way. You know, don't go tell this person to go F themselves or anything like that. But I mean, you can say, hey, like I, I know the company is making more money. Like I can see that we're making more money. Uh, we you know, we've worked very hard. We deserve raises. Um, and you can even maybe have like a side, have something lined up. Maybe even have something lined up for yourself and be prepared to, it's, it's like a, like a mind game between the two of you. Be prepared to walk away if you really have to. Be prepared to start your own business or go on your own path if you really have to. It's basically the energy I'm feeling here, you know? So I'm not saying like to go impulsively quit tomorrow, but I'm saying to maybe, and maybe you can even drop hints, like you can even maybe ask for a promotion or ask for, like you can, you can maybe even start slowly so that it builds up so it's not just catching this person off guard. Maybe even, you know, build up for like a month or so. And then as you look for another position and then have that lined up and be like, okay, I'm prepared. If you're not willing to work with me, 
Um, cause this person might try to be like, Oh, well, we'll look at the budget. We'll look at the budget. We'll look at the budget. And they just never give you that raise. So at a, per so at a certain point you have to sit down and you have to be like, you know, I'm, I'm prepared to walk away. I have another job offer. I'm, I'm willing to, and I don't know shit about business. Like I don't, I'm not like a business, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, um, I've never been like drawn to, uh, how do I explain it? I've always been drawn to like more creative paths, like even leadership positions. It's still, there's usually room for creativity. Like I would be bored out of my mind in a, in a position where it's like a nine to five job where I'm like at a desk, I would be so bored. I would be so bored. So, so like, I don't really, I can't give too much advice just because I haven't really been in those positions. I usually am drawn to more creative roles where there's more independence involved. Um, so, I mean, of course, use your own experience and your own intuition and discernment here. But, but yeah, it's, it's like maybe, maybe get to a point where it's like, you're kind of putting it out there. And then at a certain point, like when you have something lined up, just like, I'm, you know, I've asked you several times now, I'm setting this boundary. I am prepared. I have another job offer. They want me to let them know within a week. I am prepared to take this job offer if you're not able to, um, to, to give me something better. If you're not willing to match them, I'm going to go ahead and take this job offer. You know what I mean? Like you need to do what you got to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this out. Thank you guys for watching. And I really appreciate your support. If this resonates, please like the video, uh, comment, uh, subscribe, share. I, I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you.